This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Union Minister Jitendra Singh yesterday said that he has directed the Department of Personnel and Training to undertake an exercise to study the implications and feasibility of creating a separate cadre for all India service officers like the IAS and IPS for Mizoram. He conveyed this to Mizoram Chief Minister Zoram Thanga, who called him in New Delhi. The Chief Minister took up with Singh the request to have a separate IAS or civil services cadre for Mizoram, which is presently part of the AGMUT, Arunachal Pradesh, Goa, Mizoram and Union Territories, excluding the Andaman and Nicobar Islands cadre. Singh said that two more Union Territories, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, will become a part of the AGMUT cadre. Zoram Thanga also took up the issue of 10% financial assistance through non-exempt ministries and urged for a mechanism for dispensing the unspent balance. The first and biggest Northeast full food innovation exhibition will begin in Shillong today. The three-day Northeast Food Show will conclude on Friday. A collaboration between the Meghalaya government and the SIAL group, the Northeast Food Show is the first of its kind in the Northeast of India, which focuses on creating a global platform to inspire food business for this part of the country. This event will have strong presence of all the northeastern states and their governments showcasing unique products of the states as well as national and international exhibitors, natural herbal organic producers and other activities and events. It is an opportunity for export promotion, market extension, business development and building connections to enhance the agro-business and food processing potential of the northeast. Celine Lawai from Meghalaya was conferred the National Award for Best Employee for the year 2019 under the category Locomotor Disabilities by Vice President M. Vankaya Naidu at a function in New Delhi on the occasion of International Day for Persons with Disabilities. The 30-year-old Celine Lawai has, was, con has conducted awareness programs and trainings for persons with disabilities and works as a data entry operator in the block development office of the government of Meghalaya. The national awards were also conferred on individuals, institutions, organizations and state and districts for their outstanding achievements and work done towards empowerment of persons with disabilities. Addressing the occasion, the Vice President said that India has many of these remarkable men and women with special abilities who have excelled in a number of fields and pointed out that the major challenge that they face is the society's attitude towards them. The government has launched the fourth round of regional connectivity scheme, URAN, to further enhance the connectivity to remote and regional areas of the country. Civil Aviation Ministry yesterday said the focus in this round will be the northeastern region, hilly states, Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh and islands. The scheme was launched in October 2016 which seeks to provide connectivity to unserved and underserved regions through revival of existing airstrips and airports. The ministry aims to operationalize 1,000 routes and more than 100 airports in the next five years. An estimated 36,900 people in Assam were affected by cancer between 2015 and 2017 due to consumption of tobacco products. Assam Health Minister Himanta Biswasarma said in the State Assembly yesterday while replying to a question of Congress MLA Rosalina Tirke. An estimated 12,000 people were affected in 2015 and also in 2017, while another 12,900 people in 2016. As per the records provided by the central government run B. Barwa Cancer Institute. The minister informed that on November 22 last, the state government had banned the manufacture, distribution, sale, transportation, display of gutka and pan masala containing tobacco and nicotine for a period of one year in pursuance of food safety and standards prohibition and restrictions on sales regulation 2011. And Meghalaya won the sub-junior national football championship after defeating Arunachal Pradesh final in 3-0 in Kalyani in West Bengal yesterday. Arunachal, who were runners-up last season, got an opportunity in the 67th minute, but Meghalaya goalkeeper Berit Nongbri made a good save from a long-range free kick. And with that, we end the North East News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.